Namaskar. Hello and welcome to P Guru's channel. I'm your host Sri Ayer. Mr. Stalin, let me show you what class is. And for that, I'm going to show a very small video. I want our viewers to watch it and then I'll explain what this is all about. I hope you had a good look at it. So what was happening was that a member of the minority, a woman who's a Muslim, was built her house with the help of center's funds. I believe the scheme requires you to pay half and the center matches it and that's how you uh, build the house. And this was a symbolic ceremony where they were handing over the keys to the house to her. Now it was supposed to be Prime Minister Modi. Now he could have just you know given the key and, and gone about it. But what did he do? He pulled Stalin's hand and asked him also to touch that key as he was handing it over. That is a prime minister including his chief minister in something that is benefiting humanity. And in return, what does Mr. Stalin do? He has made so many gaffes in his speech that day completely political in nature, whereas this was about the 31,000 crores worth projects that Prime Minister Modi was bringing to the state of Tamil Nadu. There was all M.K. Stalin had to do was stand up and say, Mikka Nandri Aya, which means thank you very much, sir, and sit down. That was all he had to do. Instead, he pokes his nose into Kachativa, something about which he seems to have no idea. He seems to have no idea that in 1974, it was his father, along with Indira Gandhi, who agreed to hand over Kachativa to Sri Lanka. So, all these things have happened and yet, he says, now we demand Kachativa back. I mean, there has a, there's a place for everything, there's a time for everything. And this definitely was not it. On top of this, he makes a statement that the center owes the uh, state of Tamil Nadu 26,000 crores. This is something that has also been parroted by the loquacious uh, finance minister of Tamil Nadu, PTR, Painivel Tyagaraja. And the most important thing here is they omit to mention the fact that the Tamil Nadu government itself owes 25,979 crores to the center for payment of old uh, power electricity dues and so on and so forth. In fact, uh, in the next few days, Annamala is going to itemize the 25,979 crores as to which department owes how much to the center. So if you want to say that the center owes money to the state and it is holding it back, you have to set the context right. It is not the center, it is the GST council. GST council is an independent body compressing of who? all the state ministers, state finance ministers, and yet they want to try and play politics with it to make it look as if GST council is holding back money to send uh, to Tamil Nadu and not to the other state. Dude, I've got news for you. GST council only pays once every three months or so, something like that. It is not every day. You don't collect GST today and give it back. In fact, there was a big story that we did about how when the original GST bill was passed, the two bankers who were associated with it, with GST and GSTN and so on and so forth, were two private banks, ICICI Bank and HDFC Bank. And both of them were enjoying a float for about 10 to 15 days of all the GST collections. And they could give out small loans and make money off of that. It was with Dr. Swami's intervention, based on a lot of research that P Gurus had done, that the government took the banking away from these two private banks and gave it to State Bank of India. So we know what happens. You know, whenever you pay GST, there are two parts to it. SGST, CGST, Central GST and State GST. The state component gets paid back to you. It doesn't come back immediately. The collection is done. Then everything is aggregated. It's calculated and then you get it back. I mean, it takes over a period of time. And this was all agreed to when the GST uh, laws were promulgated. It is not something new. Then why try to make politics out of it? 
it sounds very immature, childish, frankly stupid. So what else is happening? Very interesting thing about Modi had a rally in Nehru Stadium and you can see from the visuals it was a full house. Interestingly, DMK, it, it is believed, set a target of 200 uh, persons to attend for each MLA, or let's say 180, 190. So that is about 4,000 people in those attendees were supposedly DMK. But from the cheering that was going on, you wouldn't believe it was DMK which was present there in presence. Perhaps it was only a small minuscule. I can't tell how many people were there, but it is my guess that there are at least 10,000 people there. Be that as it may, this trip for Prime Minister Modi has been a resounding success. You know, from the times when they used to have these go back Modi flags to now, where the people lined up the streets and uh, uh, wish him well is something that tells you that at the heart, everyone is a true nationalist. Everybody wants good for their country. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel. And please do not forget to click on the bell button for notifications. If you think this was useful, please do feel free to uh, thank us using the super thanks button. And also one mention of thanks to Kola Hala's TV for letting us use that four second video. Thank you very much, sir. Namaskaram.